Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you how to create these really darling coffee cups and I'll even tell you where I got them and it's just the cutest. And you can see it's even got a little removable sleeve just like at a real coffee store. Of course this one's way cuter. And then on the inside, I think even better than coffee are some Godiva chocolates. And so it fits about four of them. This is a four ounce cup. Just so cute. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do everything to do with these today. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to get out information because I know you're going to want to know where to get these mugs. These little coffee mugs can be found online at a place called webstrontstore.com and they're four ounce paper hot cups and you can buy them 50 to a pack. They're very reasonably priced. This is the part number 9994W and then of course you'll want to get the matching lids. Those are the four ounce paper cup travel lids in white. It's a hundred to a pack and the part number is 999L4W. So then what you're going to want to do is find yourself a piece of pretty designer series paper and today I'll be using the Kaleidoscope Designer Series paper and you can see that you can get five sleeves or five um, wraps around your mug. So up here we have sleeve one, two, three, four, we've got a sleeve five here and then we have about a four inch square that's left over that we're going to do our punching out of to decorate the top. You can see the tops of the mugs have a little punch out decoration. And so I've gone ahead and I've cut out a piece and of course this is cut at three inches wide by eight inches long and then I'll show you how I made my template. I just took one of the mugs, it looks like this, one of the little coffee cups, and I just took my scissors and I cut it apart at the seam. I cut off the rolled lid and I cut off the rolled bottom and then I was left with my template that looks like this. Then I just took a piece of vanilla scrap paper and I just traced it onto my scrap paper and cut it out and then after I'd used it a little bit I decided that it would be better if I had a little bit longer edge so I just followed I followed the curvature of the mug and just extended it out maybe about three quarters of an inch on this side and then obviously I was doing this on a flat sheet of paper so this is where the square edge of my paper is and I just put that corner up there and I extended it out so I have an edge here that's a little bit curved and that's where I start and so now I can just throw this away because I don't need it anymore because I have my piece of um, I have my guide ready to go so what I do is I just put the guide right onto my three by eight inch piece of designer series paper and it fits on there very very close to perfectly um, there's not a lot of waste with this and you can see I, I almost don't even hardly have to cut anything out on the upper part so I just take a pen and I just follow this along tracing it along and trace it all the way down here I like the way this works because I only have to cut out three sides that um, fourth side oh my pen just broke let's see if I've got another pen here hold on I don't know how that happened I've never had that happen before it just popped up so anyway so I'm just taking another pen here and I'm just you know following along and tracing this out then all you have to do is cut this out it takes just a couple of seconds just gonna follow that line along and we're cutting with inside the line so there's one edge here's our bottom edge cut that and then we just cut this edge here and that's all the waste there is very little waste so what you can do is you can actually pick which side you'd like to use so you can either choose to use kind of this more kaleidoscope side and wrap it around see how nicely that fits or you can use the other side 
wrapped around this way. And you can have the other side. So you need to decide this before you put your sticky strip tape down because you want to put the sticky strip tape on the side of the paper that you're not going to see. So I am going to choose to use this side of the paper. So I am going to put my sticky strip on the back side. So that would be on this side. So we're just going to take some sticky strip and we're just going to put a, roll, a line there and then another line of tape right here just like that all right and I actually have a piece ready to go so I didn't have to take the time um, to show you getting that that sticky strip off because it takes me a while so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side that's a little more angled and I'm going to start with that side first so that just goes on and what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking at the bottom of the cup and lining it up with the bottom of the cup and I've already um, put that down so now I just continue to follow this around the cup and just pull it nice and tight and there it's down so that's done then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that little bit of leftover that I showed you and using the one and three eighths inch circle punch I've put a couple of uh, lines on my circle punch with the Sharpie marker. So it's about two thirds of the circle punch that we'll be using. So I just insert the pattern paper into my punch about two thirds of the way down and we're punching that out and that's what's going to go onto the lid of my cup. And so I'm just going to adhere that down with snail and then I just set it right here make sure it's nice and lined up and that part is done so now we have something pretty cute but to make it even cuter let's go ahead and use some of this lovely burlap ribbon that Stamping Up introduced in the holiday catalog and carried it into the mini catalog for spring too and so I've already put three mini glue dots on one side and again it's seven and a half inches long and I just start by finding my seam which is in the back right here and I'm going to put the side that doesn't have the glue dots down first and then I bring the side with the glue dots and just secure that like this so now we have our sleeve on and then to decorate the sleeve I've got some antique brads here and I'm just going to take an antique brad insert it into my sleeve directly on the other side of where that seam is and then I can put it back onto my cup twist it around to the front of the cup and it's done thank you so much for stopping by stamping to share I really appreciate you and hope that you've enjoyed learning about how to decorate these very cute little mini coffee cups there's so many different little things you can put inside of them, not the least of which is delicious Godiva chocolate. Have a great day and thanks again. Bye-bye.